Hey everyone, we're going to do another mock today. Seems like people like mocks. So uh, this one is a very different style from the two I've already posted, being pirate sets with very modern parts and techniques. In this case, I kept exclusively, I think except for maybe one part, to parts that were available in 1993, the year the Ice Planet 2002 theme came out. I just love the colors, the bright orange, blue, white, black. It's really nice. So I did some BrickLink orders and I got all these different parts that are the right kind of orange that aren't made anymore with the, with the uh, Ice Planet colors. I never had any Ice Planet sets. I was only three when these came out, but I looked at a bunch of them for reference to make it look like them in the style of them, but my own. And so after a bit of work, I'm very happy with how it looks, and I hope you will as well. There's a lot of fun functions in it, and I also incorporated part of a real Ice Planet set into it. I don't know what else to say, so let's do it. Deep Freeze Ranger Station, ladies and gents. I'm happy with it. If you like old Lego sets, then I hope you like it too. If you don't like old Lego sets, then you probably don't like this, and that's just a shame. But I made 50 and a half BrickLink orders to get the right pieces for to match, you know, the year. And we've got a working launch tower with our little ranger that can go off and explore and whatever it needs to do. That's the little thing that's part of an original Ice Planet set. I picked just that up at BrickSwap uh, alone. Now you got coffee here, because in space, you never go without your Joe, and you gotta keep warm. Then you got all your controls here for the various satellite dishes or laser dishes. You've got support beams under here so various ice creatures can go under without, you know, messing up your base. And then you've got a couple of hubs here, more places to control things. Ice Planet people love to control things. Now, you know me, everything's modular, so this part comes off. I had a lot of fun using these bits with the Ice Planet printing, and look at that. It sticks on by the little one by two hinge. And then this little guy, it's got inspiration from the Blizzard Baron set, but again, tried to make it my own. And you can of course lift up the visor, take out the guy, and there's the guy. He's also got his little laser gun so he can melt the snow, fight the snow, whatever you do with the snow. And more controls. Look at those prints, beautiful old prints. But of course, coffee robot, because if you can't get your coffee, you get your coffee to come to you. This part cracked me up. There's only three unique Ice Planet characters. One of them is just male. The other one's Dr. Kelvin, and then there's Commander Bear or Commander Cold, depending on what you prefer. I like Commander Cold Bear, but hey, my full crew here is five plus a coffee robot. I just have accumulated this many Ice Planet people, so I put them all in. And then this thing, it's part of the Ice Station Odyssey, if I'm remembering it correctly, but you know, you can raise this thing to launch a missile or launch a whatever you want. And I made a parking space for it on the base. Plug on the top again, get the, what is it, launching tower down, put the little rover ranger on there, and then get the ranger rover back in its parking space so you don't get a ticket in space from the space police. All in all, fun build. For me, I hope you like it. Instructions are available on Rebrickable. Check the link. Keep on building. 